spend much time actually just looking at it, enjoying Every it. Night, yeah. Do you sit in that chair mostly? Yeah, or get in front of it and sit on the floor and watch it. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me, mate. Thanks no for a coffee. Yeah. Thanks for giving some more beautiful content to film. Yeah. This is your best ever scape, I'd say, mate. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, I really like it. It's really beautiful. about upgrading from your 600? No, I was quite grateful that I was able to sell the uh, 600 really, yeah. on the, off the back of your video. Yeah. I mean, why not? Because then Escape lives on forever, uh, yeah, potentially. Yeah. You know, we talked earlier about keeping the Escape going in the longer term. And actually, when you think about it, it is a new Escape every, every day, yeah. or a, every moment, because everything's always evolving. Everything's the plant's changing. always... It's just imperceptible at, the, at this moment in time, but over a week, you know, you see, you see pretty much all the plants exhibit in some growth, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, oh, mm -hmm. the dog is a bit. Are you dreaming? Oh, just, What's up, Coach? He's a good boy. You're beautiful. Yeah. I love dogs so much, man. Could have done dog training career or dog walking. You know, working with dogs yeah. basically. Yeah. I worked in an animal shelter, I don't know if I've ever told anyone this, I worked in an animal shelter for a while. Yeah, on the Isle of Wight. Um, when I finished school, I used to go and help out and volunteer. Nice. Yeah, and walk the dogs, walk the stray dogs That's and stuff. Good. Yeah, yeah, I loved that. How long has it been running for? Uh, two months. Oh, wow. And using plants, what, what, what brand new plants or Everything mature? Brand new. Everything brand new, okay. What, from Pete? A mixture. Yeah. Yeah. A mixture of places. Yeah. The hardscape from Pete, the tank and stand from Pete, Riverwood Aquatics, those. Yeah. So they're these awesome. remind me of Kessel, but they're. Do you, can you adjust the spectrum on them? Yeah. On, on the unit itself? They're or just on the buttons underneath. It's quite. Oh. Oh, okay. All oh, right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Nice. What's the background then? Is that uh, just a white sheet? It's just sheet? frosted. I think they, yeah. they come with that on. Oh, do they? That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. They're actually the best light I've ever used, I think. Really? Yeah. I've had Twin Star. I like the natural effect. The growing plants, yeah, I still think these are the best lights I've used. Really? Well, I, I think the proof's in the pudding, to be honest with you. The growth in two months. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, how much of CAT are you adding? Um, Gets about 30 parts. Is it 30 parts? 30 parts, yeah. How many bubbles a second though? Around three. So the hardscape, what's the big wood called? Uh, Neptune wood, and that's by Weo. Neptune. Yeah. And you say it's quite hard to waterlog. Yeah, I'll send you some pictures so you can overlay it. It uh, went up. It floated the first time. Really? Yeah. Even though you I've tried, just finished. Did you try gluing it, gluing it in or? I was, it, was, it was glued and epoxied. To oh, the rocks. And it's still. So basically, I had to go the next day, rush to Riverwood, then oh. I had to add another two of these big boulders to glue it to. Mm. I, I think if the glue broke, the wood would still float now, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Make, make sure you. Um, I did escape yesterday and uh, a little workshop, and the wood uh, wanted to float, even though oh. it was glued in as well. So, yeah. You have to be careful. Yeah, definitely. What are the rocks called? Um, Scottish River Boulders. Yeah. And then some, some of my own collection. Some, yeah, oh, okay, your own collection. We'll yeah. just keep it there. Okay, cool. So you got, yeah, we'll just talk through the plants quickly and then I'll overlay some close ups. So at the top, we've got the tripod. Is that tripod to a mini? No, no just a regular. Tripod. It's quite yeah. small though, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Uh, Aero Cal on Vietnam. Yep. Anubis Petite. Yep. Christmas moss? Uh, weeping moss. Weeping, nice. Uh, tri uh, trident fern. Yep. You need to clean them. I need to pluck some of the, yeah. all the leaves out. Yeah, it's starting to really shoot the new, you can see the new growth through now. Yeah. They take a long while to adapt, don't they? Yeah, they do. 
But now, what, what, now when you remove those plantlets as well, it's putting so much energy into trying to grow that. Yeah. If you take them off, get loads of new growth. Yeah, it'll spring into life any minute. Orbitis. Yep. Bucophyllandra bucket kalem. Mm, wavy wavy green. green. Yeah. Yeah, it's bucket. Yeah, it's a different name for it. Ricardia, that's nice. Yeah. That is took that, a little while. Is that weeping moss or is that different? Spiky. No, that's that's Christmas moss. Christmas, okay. Uh, it's Valisneria, Crispitula, yeah. Forgotten in Gai. Yeah. That was a good that's idea, good. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not popular, that's not very well known. Uh, dwarf hair grass and the hydrocotyl verticolata in the back. Yeah. Nice. Crip Harva. A lot of that Anubius is bonsai as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't talk about that, it's not tropical for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got a frog bit. As well. Yeah, I like the sort of like natural look of that. Yeah, the long, long, quite a bit of it in there as well. The, the, um, the long roots, I think the fish love the long roots as well. Yeah. So we did actually um, talk about how we could even potentially improve the layout, didn't we? Yeah. So I don't know what if you guys agree in the video, let me know. I'll get some close ups of this and we can do a before and after. Um, but do you mind if I? tell the audience what yeah, we discussed, yeah. So in my mind, these two boulders here, these two pebbles are very kind of high impact. They're the, they're the, they're the most kind of, almost like a focal point in themselves. And they're very central in the whole, in the, in the tank. So I think offsetting them would be, give their overall look some more balance. And then similar story with the Aerocalon Vietnam here, it's the biggest portion of Aerocalon and it's almost in the center of the tank. So I think we've got another portion here. I think if we move that one here behind the little crypt parva and then move this bigger one to where that one it was, I think that's going to improve things. Should we do that? We should see what people think in the yeah, comments. Should we do that? Yeah. First, yeah. So we'll have to drain the water right down to do that. No, just do it now. Get your arms right in there, spill water everywhere. Dirty end then. No, I'm, jo I'm joking. No, no fresh. No. We'll see what the comment people yeah, in the comments yeah. say. I'll overlay like a proper, you know, full frontal, yeah. and then point to the uh, to the actual, you know, the stones and what I'm talking about. But this is the joy of maintaining a tank in the long term. Yeah, you can adapt it. Yeah, because you, you're spending so much. Or ho hopefully, you've got time to observe the tank, and you can actually give it some real kind of attention yeah, definitely. And, 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 you know, um, care. And you're, con you're constantly like refining, you know, the process. So do you, do you make little changes here and there or do you yeah, generally just do? Yeah, so like when you done that scape at Riverwood not too long back, yeah. I took some of the vertical art, didn't I? Oh, Which was right. left over, yeah, I yeah. added that. Yeah. I've, um, Initially, there was in this where the bulbitis is. Yeah. There was um, <clears throat> I don't know what the species is. Lion. It's a lion mane. Oh yeah, I heard of that. You heard yeah. of that? Yeah. It was too big. Yeah. So I replaced that. Okay. Yeah, I do little tweaks here and there. Yeah. It's just keeping it in check, really. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of growth at the back there going on at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, I like the. I like the mixtures of the background textures as well. The uh, yeah, the crispitula and the vallis works really well. And then you've got the finer texture of the forgotten magaya go eye. Yeah, it looks really naturalistic. If you just had like vallis as one, it would yeah, just look a bit monotone. Yeah, I've never used vallis. It's the first time. It's quite yeah. It can be quite a bit of a brute. Brute, but yeah, if you're doing weekly maintenance you just pluck out the leaves out as you one. need to yeah i mean every week in that 400 i probably take up 50 leaves of one one form yeah, you or another notice, do you? no no it's even been done no so it's just about like constant you know small changes rather than waiting for everything and then doing a big change yeah it's uh you know little and often i think for a long-term scape like this so you'll keep you'll probably keep this going for six 12 months i guess will you probably longer to be honest with you yeah yeah the other one was running, yeah, like sixteen. I can imagine, months. like, yeah, so I can imagine it in like twelve months, and moss, like literally moss, like dripping over everything. everything. 
um, you know, you, you probably get fed up with the tripod teeth so maybe in the eventually, run. but you know, it's great for now. Aereo cow long kind of up here. Because <laughs> it gets quite tall in yeah. good light. Yeah. Oh, they look great. And what fish have we got in Ember Tetras? Ember Tetras. Um, three angelfish. Um, super blue Kerry Tetras. I've never seen these. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. They're, yeah, they're really, really nice. Corries in here and snails, shrimp. But uh, the population's taken a slap since the angelfish have been in there. Are they shrimps? Yeah. Yeah, they're munching them, aren't they? And there is, there's a pair of pistos in here. Is there? Yeah. Nice. And they did breed. I've had babies. Oh, really? Oh, I can see them in the back left. Yeah. They're co cockatoides. Yeah. Yeah. Cockatoides, even. Nice, lovely selection of fish, mate. And then the, the angels will get bigger. That'd be nice. I think long term they'd be okay in here. There's only three. Yeah. They just seem to chill down here. Yeah, nice, mate. How much time do you spend maintaining it? Uh, so I didn't anticipate how much longer it would take to maintain. Is it easy? Yeah, okay. That's 30 centimetres bigger than what I was, but it's over double the water volume. Yeah. So, I don't know, hour and a half once a week. Okay. More if it needs trimming, like I trimmed the carpet when I got back off holiday. Yeah. Um, what did you do on holiday with it? I left it running. Yeah. I had someone here. Nice. Fertilising the tank mm -hmm. and come back. I was quite surprised. I was. You, and you, know, you notice a big difference when you've not looked at it yeah, every day do. for a while, don't you? It was kind of a, probably a little bit slower on the growth because I got to under fertilise it. I didn't yeah. want to. It had to grow in too much and, you know. Yeah. We've got a little lily as well. That's awesome. Yeah, the lily's in there actually. They're the same as what I had before. Hell of a What substrate is it? Um, Tropica. Substrate yeah. at the back. Yeah. And then this is the ADA Mekong sand. Oh, I've not heard of that. Is yeah, it a new one? Uh, no, old one. Oh, yeah. That was um, found in a pallet somewhere and I think Horizon got their hands on it. Oh, wow. And I, yeah, bought a couple of big bags. Nice. A little bit different. you got sort of like the black bits into it as well. Yeah. So I love the wood, it's like the really kind of bold, bold wood. It's my kind of style, that is. Yeah, it's not too covered either. I want it, I really want it to be visible in the long term. Yeah. The wood. So like that tripartite is already covered that top part of the wood twice mm -hmm. in two months. It is a brute, And I it? just have to keep, I actually pull it off, yeah. the wood. Yeah, yeah. Take all the, bits off I don't want and then just put it back down onto the wood. Do you spend much time actually just looking at it? Enjoying Every it? Night I'm here. Do you sit in that chair mostly? Yeah, or just get in front of it and sit on the floor, watch it. Yeah. But yeah, mainly this chair. It's better suited in the corner. You know, the, the 600 was where this chair is now. Yeah. It does look good in the corner, and because it's, it's a triangular layout, you, yeah. know, you get that good, cool view looking up this way. I'll get the, some footage. The only thing I wish I could do, I don't think I'm going to be able to, I think it'll spoil that over there, is put these pipes that side. I did have two filters running on this originally. Yeah. That was too much, that was a bit overkill. Have you got the new Drymaster inlet tubes and stuff yet? Or? I don't know. You know, they've upgraded their in. Oh, yeah, got that. Filter tube, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that helps the flow, doesn't it? <coughs> but I've just got the, the little Eheim skimmer at the back as well. Oh, okay, I didn't I've see got that. I've got the skimming portions on this inlet. I never, I never actually use skimmers at all. No? No, not at the moment. Um, I've got platies in one tank and they keep the surface oh, the clean. Surface and then the other one's got floating plants, which I always find. They collect it all, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I don't get, I get a little bit in the 400, but because it's a lid, lidded tank, yeah. you don't notice it anyway. I'll probably get, it's, it's nice to have that little bit of flow at the back as well. Yeah. But I've got it running on a slower set. And I, I, I actually think they're a bit of a funny design than the e skimmers. 
yeah. in two two different ways. You know, what they've got the wire hanging in the water. Yeah. And then if you put it up too powerful, it just spits it out all the time. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. The Owase ones are pretty good, but they blow water downwards. Down. Yeah. Did you see that someone's three uh, D printed? Uh, you know the bottom portion yeah. that pops off, doesn't it? Yeah. And they've made one that has a jet. I know. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and you can buy that. That's awesome. Some other things I want to show you actually that that um, clip and grow. Oh yeah, I've heard of this. Yeah. yeah. I was just thinking about something like this the other day. So basically, I'll show you how to get it off. You pull the tabs. Okay. And then you stick the stem in this piece. All oh, right. Yeah. And the roots will grow out the bottom, and then you just hang that over your glass. Obviously, that'll be inside the tank. Yeah. Did you see the things I had at Tropica, the plant clips? Yeah, yeah, well, they changed the baskets yeah. to them, yeah. Did you see how you can use them as. Same sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, the pistos out. Hey. And then you've got this one. That's big. So that you can just sit like a piece lily inside it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's quite cool. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. Is that 3D printed? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. All 3D printed. So you like some full power? No. They're only on about 50%. Each. They're powerful, aren't they? Like 90 watts or something? 80, 80, watts. 80 watts each. Yeah. But the shimmer, you like the shimmer lines, yeah? Oh, I love it. Really it's like a bit it. of a, like, what do they call it? A Marmite topic. Yeah, you, you want love it, right? It. Yeah. Some people don't like it. They find it really distracting. But then you go down to a river, and yeah. that is what you'd get. Yeah. Yeah, if the well, water's clear enough. Assuming, and assuming the sun is unbroken, because yeah. otherwise it's diffused by the clouds. It's a bit flat then. And then you don't get so much, but... So this is invocative of a summer's, like, or a bright, yeah. sunshiny day. Yeah. But um, I do have to say, this isn't the first scape I had in here. No? Oh, yeah. You know, you said, yeah, I've probably got some old photos of you, because I look really good as well. I liked it. Yeah. But it wasn't, I don't know. Did you rush it, do you think? No, I didn't. It took me longer than this did. Right, but you just didn't feel right. Hello. It just didn't feel like yeah. my style. Yeah. You know, I tried making a pathway up the middle and yeah. I wasn't happy with it. Oh, uh, well, if you're not happy, mate, there's no point in keeping it. No, no worries, That's mate. That's awesome. Well, thanks for watching. What? I don't know what question we should ask. When should you sell this one? Oh, you, uh, I'll give you three years. Yeah, maybe then. Yeah. If I can get a bigger house, it's a three year plan. We'll go with, uh, what do you reckon, 1200? Yeah. It's good to upgrade a little bit, little bit by bit, because you appreciate the journey more then. It's more challenging as well. Like, this is the first time I've, second time for yeah. this skate, but I'd never skated a 90 centimetre tank before. No, it's a different story. It was it? completely different. Like, cho even just coming down to choosing hardscape. Yeah, well, it's 50% bigger lengthwise, isn't yeah. it, when you think about it? Yeah, 30 yeah. centimetres, yeah, 50% of 60, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It was, it was good, though. Yeah, no, you done well, mate. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Is this Josh's best one? All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Cheerio. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh, awesome. Cool. Done, yeah? Stop That's it, done. yeah.